We begin this morning with breaking news out of Iraq. A series of deadly explosions has ripped through Baghdad this morning. CBS News correspondent Sheila McVicker is in London to bring us up to date. Good morning, Sheila. Good morning, Maggie. At least five coordinated attacks in Baghdad this morning aimed at government ministries downing sections of highway and damaging bridges. And with a death toll that's now at 75 and probably increasing. The blasts came within minutes of each other. At Iraq's foreign ministry just outside the green zone, cars were left twisted in a heap of smoking metal. At least seven died here. Today's targets were all government and commercial buildings so close to the heart of government that the Iraqi parliament filled with smoke. After a decrease in violence earlier this year, the government had planned to take down the blast walls which protect and divide the city. But last week, Iraq's prime minister warned of the risk of increasing violence. The U.S. military, which withdrew from urban areas nearly two months ago, has said insurgents are trying to reignite the sectarian bloodshed, which pushed the country to the brink of civil war. Today's blasts also raised questions, Maggie, about the ability of the country's security forces to provide stability. All right, Sheila McVicker in London, thank you.